what happened to SLI and crossfires in GPUs? Is there a reason it died out? It seems like it would be particularly well suited for VR setups, but both AMD and NVIDIA have entirely given up on it. Uh, Alex, I'll go to you again on this one because it's a fairly simple answer, isn't it? Well, yeah, there's two simple ones. One is the existence of things like techniques that use uh, information from previous frames, TAA and anything similar to it. Uh, they came into existence and they make it so that SLI alternate frame rendering and crossfire alternate frame rendering efficiency goes drastically down because you're doing PCIe transfers to the other GPU at that point, And that just slows it down and makes the scaling worse. Another reason is because DX12 came about and it made the existence of SLI, which is and crossfire, which is a driver hack from the NVIDIA or, or ATI side of things, AMD side, it made it so that developers have to explicitly target it for it to come for it to be used. And I only know of two cases where it was ever done. So maybe three. Uh, so that's why it fell out of use. And so as a result of that, these two things coming together, software mainly, uh, it became boutique and then niche and then stopped existing as soon as NVLink is no longer on consumer GPUs, right? Mm. So it's not there on the RTX 4000 series cards. I think it was on the 3090. I think is so it on too. the 3090? Uh, and then obviously the SLI connector was still a thing for RTX 2000 series cards, but I don't know if it was on all of them. No. I um, think the other thing is simply... Um, the amount of people that actually bought two GPUs was was actually far smaller than you possibly <laughs> imagine. And so, yeah, um, yeah it, there just wasn't really a market for it. It's just the people that did have two GPUs and uh, were operating in SLI, you know, they talked about it a lot online and it kind of gave it more visibility than it probably deserved. But yeah, <laughs> the actual sort of amount of people who actually bought two GPUs. Uh, or three. I mean, or three, yeah. yes. I think it was yes, just I bragging remember. rights, EP and stuff, where they're like, I got four GPUs in here. Look at this, man. Five thousand dollars worth of GPUs up in here. I'll tell you what, though, back in the day, Assassin's Creed Unity achieved like near perfect scaling with two or three GPUs. Yeah. That was nuts. Oh. Seeing those, yeah, I did like those kind of things where you could just see like how what a future generation could get in terms of average FPS. That was kind of the interesting part of SLI because you know like, oh, well, the next gen of GPUs would will get like what your SLI gets now. And I think that's interesting. I but think, other than that... I think the other thing to bear in mind is that most games didn't achieve that scalability or anything close to it. Maybe you got like 30 to 40 to 50% extra frames coming out. And, yes. uh, and in that case, you've really got to ask yourself some serious questions about how much money you're spending on GPUs to achieve that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, th- yeah, there's a lot of issues with SLI. Uh, like, also, like, s- s- if you go online and you look at SLI stuff from the past, a lot of people are finicking with like driver side profiles specifically to make it run better yeah. or get it to work at all, depending upon the game. And that I think that's mainly issues with alternate frame rendering. I really do slightly wish at some point that SFR became more common because it solves issues with SLI and Crossfire's existence. And it also, I mean, it gets worse scaling, but it, like, I don't know. I kind of wish SFR, as that is single frame rendering, where depending upon some sort of metric the screen is divided and gpus take part, different parts of it and that's why i think the person's referencing that vr makes a lot of sense for it like per eye per gpu actually makes a lot of sense to me but um it just doesn't exist did you ever have an sli setup john uh i only have it i only had an sli setup when it was known as scan line interleaving right on the voodoo which, yeah on the voodoo and there it actually worked it worked very yeah, well yeah. Uh, just due to the nature of how I was drawing the image. Uh, it was pretty awesome playing Unreal on that thing at higher resolutions. It was quite smooth. That was the dream. I just wish, <laughs> I just wish the, the Voodoo 5 9000 were real. <laughs> yes. 32-way SLI setup. All chips Why nothing. not? <laughs> I mean, the other thing about alternate frame rendering is, uh, of course, increased latency, but nobody cared at that point. Nope. Yeah. 
<laughs> that's funny. Dude, those, like those, nobody. Those were the dark knows. years for leg, right? Like the late two thousands, because that's when all these flat panels were introduced, and nobody took care of legs, so they were tended to be really bad in that regard. We had the emergence of like deferred rendering. And those initial attempts tended to be very slow in terms of input response. You had things like SLI, you know, all these things hitting around the same time. The games were the leggiest they had ever been. And yeah. it was just bad. Things felt bad for a while. Yeah. Just, just buy a good GPU rather than two. 